Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Oh, when may it suffice? That is heaven's part, our part, to murmur name upon name as a mother names her child when sleep at last has come on limbs that had run wild. What is it but nightfall? No, not night, but death. And was it needless death after all? For England may keep fate for all that is done and said. We know their dream, enough to know they dreamed and are dead, and what if excessive love bewildered them till they died. I write it out now in a verse. Macdonough and MacBride and Connolly and Pierce, now and in time to be, wherever green is worn, are changed, changed utterly. A terrible beauty is born. My lords, you are impatient for the sacrifice. The blood which you seek is not congealed by the artificial terrors which surround your victim. It circulates warmly and unruffles through the channels which God created for noble purposes, which you are now bent to destroy for purposes so grievous that they cry to heaven. Be yet patient. I have but a few more words to say. I'm going to my cold and silent grave. My lamp of light is nearly extinguished. My race is run. The grave opens to receive me, and I sink into it. I have but one request to make in my departure from this world. It is the charity of its silence. Let no man write my epitaph. For as no man who knows my motives dare now vindicate them, let not prejudice or ignorance asperse them. Let them rest in obscurity and peace. Let my memory be left in oblivion, and my tomb remain uninscribed until other times and other men can do justice to my character. When my country takes her place among the nations of the earth, then, and not till then, let my epitaph be written. I have done. I don't know if you're stuck, it's not